Hi, I'm Liev Hansen for Houdini.com and Betty Crocker Kitchens. I'm here with Lila, Quinton, and Perry, and I'm going to show you how easy and fun it can be to make special pancakes with your kids for breakfast, which is a great idea for a slumber party or even for Mother's Day or Father's Day. Now, traditionally, you would just ladle your batter right onto the griddle, but I have a great trick. I poured my batter into a squeeze bottle. This will give you a lot of control for making small shapes. I've pre-greased my griddle with a little cooking spray. Just make sure you do it when the griddle is not hot. So I'm going to start. I'm going to make some X's and O's and some fun shapes, little hugs and kisses. But feel free to do any letter, maybe the initials of your kids. I'm going to squeeze the bottle and just make my shape. X, O, X, if you want them to look like round pancakes, you can actually make the letter, let it set a little bit on the griddle until the bubbles form, and then ladle over a little bit more batter. Another option is just to use your squeeze bottle and make that circular shape over it. Okay, so we're ready to flip the pancakes. So remove the pancakes when the bottoms are brown. You can actually peek a little bit, lift it up and see. I think these are ready. Now I'm going to show you another fun pancake. How about a pig pancake, guys? Sure. Anyone want one? Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. So this one's pretty easy. I'm going to use my squirt bottle again. To make one pig, you'll need two small ovals or circles and one large one. I'm going to make two pigs. Let's flip them. If you're working on a non-stick griddle, it's important to use a plastic spatula. That way you don't scratch the surface. So now it's time to assemble our pig. Take one of the small ones, place it on your plate, and cut it in half. This is going to be the ears. Take the large one and place it over, and then another small one for the snout. Now to decorate, you can use chocolate chips or blueberries. I'm going to use both. Blueberries for the snout, and chocolate chips for the eyes. And there's your little pig. Who wants a pig? Me. I do too. Okay, let's start over here. You'll get a little pig, and let's finish this one. There you go. Let me drizzle a little bit over your pig. Dig in, kids. A great way to top off these delicious pancakes is with a dollop of whipped cream and some fresh strawberries. I'm Leif Hansen for Houdini.com and Betty Crocker Kitchens.